Is your mortgage tax deductible? In the United States, yes it is, very easily. In Canada, not so easy. There was a plan called the Smith Maneuver that introduced the concept, and now there's a company called the Tax Deductible Mortgage Plan. The president and CEO is Sandy Aiken. Welcome, Sandy. Hey, Jonathan. So you, we acknowledge that Fraser Smith sort of got the ball rolling, but you sort of took the concept and really automated it in a, in a different sort of way. Can you explain that? Well, that's right. Um, Fraser Smith was uh, an inspiration, I think, to a lot of uh, independent mortgage professionals and financial advisors uh, who have been advising their clients uh, on a, a strategy to make their mortgage tax deductible and to uh, get rid of debt and build wealth uh, without changing their cash flow. Uh, so we um, took that idea and collaborated for some years with Fraser before he retired uh, to basically uh, automate the process and make it easier for homeowners that want to get ahead, that are prepared to tap the equity in their home um, and get rid of their mortgage faster and have more money for retirement or retire sooner, uh, make that easier. Now, I mean, I always used to joke with Fraser about like the half Smith, which was simply, you know, just pay down the mortgage. There's huge power just from getting rid of the uh, interest costs. Both the Smith Maneuver and the Tax Deductible Mortgage Plan incorporate sort of a borrowing element, correct? I mean, I think you both do the same thing in that respect. Well, I, I think that's right. At the, at the end of the day, every homeowner who gets a mortgage to get into their home is, is leveraging. Um, a lot of homeowners start in their 20s uh, with 5% down or 10% down, and they are very heavily leveraged, if you like, with a, a 90% of, of their home is a, a mortgage. Um, they're not suitable uh, for a tax-deductible mortgage plan. Really, it takes uh, our, our typical clients are in their late 30s or their 40s. Uh, they're sophisticated professionals for the most part, and they've already built up. 40 or 50 percent equity in their home and they realize that if they're prepared to borrow against it again and use the cash flows to convert their mortgage into uh, an investment loan effectively, um, that they'll get ahead over a 10 or 15 years. And the real power of it is if, you're, if you wait 25 years paying off your mortgage, principal and interest till it's gone and then start saving for retirement, you may not have enough time or you may have to work longer than you had planned. But if you can start 10 or 15 years earlier by borrowing against your mortgage and investing and reinvesting the tax benefits that come along the way, uh, you can get 10 or 15 years ahead of the game and retire on time or retire with more money. Of course, there are various ways to skin this cat. I mean, I've described, for example, if you have a couple hundred thousand dollars in a non-registered portfolio of securities, I mean, the traditional thing is you could sell the securities, use the proceeds to, uh, to pay off your mortgage, and then reborrow to buy those same securities, at which point you've gone from non-deductible interest costs to deductible, correct? That's sort of conceptually part of what's going on here. That's absolutely right. What you just described there is a classic uh, debt swap. Uh, where you're switching out um, no, uh, non-deductible mortgage debt and turning it into uh, an investment loan by simply moving a portfolio that you have of non-registered securities. Um, and that works. And uh, a, a recent court case, the Lipson case, uh, at the Supreme Court of Canada has now um, assured Canadian taxpayers that they are allowed to realign their balance sheets. They are allowed to optimize their tax benefits. And, um, and we support that, of course. Uh, the tax deductible mortgage plan is really targeted at uh, the more traditional Canadian homeowner who has, doesn't have $200,000 in a registered, <laughs> unregistered debt. They have portfolio. nothing. <laughs> they, have, they have RSPs right. and they have their home and they have a mortgage. And what we want to do is, and, and they're managing their cash flow within their means. And what we want to do without changing that cash flow is give them the, the benefits of making their mortgage uh, a tax deductible investment loan as well. Well, okay, we've come to the end of this uh, segment, Sandy. Uh, next time, we're going to look at this in a little bit more depth and uh, just ask about interest rates in general and whether the plan will be altered as a result. Thank you, Sandy Aiken of the Tax Deductible Mortgage Plan. Thanks, Jonathan.